Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Dominique and thank you for coming to my channel. Today I will be showing you just the eyes today. I'll be showing you my cut crease technique that I use and what glitters, pigments and what eyeshadow that I use as well to get this look. So please stay tuned and thank you for watching. Bye! So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a cut crease for you. So I'll be using the Be Perfect Carnival palette and I'm using the XL version. And this is in collaboration with Stacey Marie. And the colors that I'll be using are all along this section here. So I'm going to go for a bronzy kind of vibe and then I'm going to be using a green pigment from Peaches and Cream on top of that as well. So all of the products that I'll be using, I will list them below. But to get started, I'll be using the P. Louise Rumor Base. And this is in the shade two. Well, um, they've actually just extended all of their shade ranges. So they're now available in a wide, wider color spectrum, which is really, really good. And you can also use these as concealer, as blushes, if you have different colors. So they are very versatile in what you can use them for. But today I'm going to use it. I've already got my base applied and that video you can go and watch as well up here. So to start off with, I always put the P. Louise base onto a palette just to make sure that it's prepped and it's ready to go. I then use, it's an actually a P. Louise base brush that is on the website and it's a short concealer brush like so and the hairs are really compact and really fine and I believe it's synthetic which makes it stick better. There's also other versions that you can use. So for example, this is from Morphe. You can use ones like that and Mac do one as well. So whatever's, whatever brand you want to use, that's fine. But I do recommend the P. Louise one because it's the best one that I've used so far. So I'm going to bring you in closer and I'll show you what I do step by step. So to prep my eyes, I'm going to use the P. Louise Rumor Base as discussed before. And I'm just going to get the palette like so and just dabble it into the product i'm going to load it up quite a bit and just use one side of the p louise brush i'm then going to carve out my eyebrows so i start off underneath and just bring it all the way around my eyebrow shape usually if i do this i don't have makeup on previously but i thought it'd be easy it'll be good to show you that you can do it with makeup on as well so after you carve out your brows, I then just bring it all the way down, just patting it into place. After I've used this flat brush here, this flat brush here, as you can see, I've only got one side. I then take the other side, which is clean, and I just pat it into place. I like to take a fluffy concealer brush here this is from Zoeva and it is I can't tell you what it is <laughs> I don't have it I'll find it in a, in a set but it's from a nice set and this is just for just blending them out all of the harsh lines that you've got so here I'm just getting rid of these bits and just making sure that it blends into the rest of my face if you have makeup on already if you don't have makeup on then you just need to worry about the harsh lines that are going to be in this area here but for me i need to just make sure that there's no harsh lines on either side and i just like to pat it over and just take any other excess moisture or excess product and make sure that it's not there so that is the base done the bases are all um, available on p louise and they're really really good and there's also various discount codes and everything that you can use as well so i'm now going to dip into the carnival palette and this is by be perfect as said in the intro so i've already got my base on my p louise which i just showed you previously and the shades again that i'm going to be using are going to be this column here so i'll be using hall to deepen my crease slow burn on the outer edges to really lighten it up and intuition on the inner corners to make it look like a liner so, all up and personal so i've got the fluffy brush with the slow burn eyeshadow on top of it and what i'm going to do is is that i'm going to focus it on this area here so just above my crease just pressing lightly 
into it. Then I'm just gonna wing it out slightly. So after I've done the slow burn, I'm then gonna take a clean fluffy brush. So I'm going to use the Zoeva Lux Soft De um, Definer, which just looks like this. And I'm just gonna go in on the top of the area of the soft burn. So these bits here, just to soften out the edges. And then I'm going to take the shade Shuffle, which is this one here. So it's like a light yellow, but it'll be a lovely transitional shade that goes into the into the brows. So just getting shuffle on that brush and just dubbing over the edges here and just help starting to blend it out. Go back in with the fluffy brush that we used with the slow with, with the slow burn and just just deepen in that colour. Again, just going back in with the shuffle and just making sure those two really do blend out nicely. This is what the shuffle on the top outer side and the slow burn look like. I'm then going to take a smaller pencil brush like this. And this is from, I think it's from a Morphe set. I'm then gonna go in with the shade Hall. Now Hall is that darker earthy brown that I'm going to be using. And that is gonna what I'm gonna use to really darken my crease. So I'm just bringing it in and just really pushing it into my crease. So usually where you can find your crease, I've got quite open but slightly hooded eyes. So you can see as there, it naturally folds. If you have hooded eyes, I wouldn't suggest bringing this out into your actual crease. I would then bring it up slightly and bring everything up. Or if you wanna make your eyes hooded, bring it down lower. wing out the whole color because I will be doing that with intuition as I bring that out after so once we did the cut crease it will then blend into the darker shade of that is intuition I'm then going to take the brush that we used with slow burn and it obviously it's still got product on it but I'm going to take dip into slow burn again but only a little bit and I'm just going to go on the top over where we put that um the hall shade i've blended the two colors together still making sure that i have a darker crease line and you can see a gradient onto it but i'm just going to go back in with the pencil brush and the shade hall and just go back over with that line just to give it a bit more pop i'm then going to take the shade the shader brush that we had with this shade shuffle on it and just go back over the top, like we did previously, on the top of the slow burn, just to make sure that we've got a nice gradient. I then, I'm then going to cut my crease. So to cut my crease, I used to use the P. Louise Rumor Base that I used previously in either the shade zero, which is a white, or the shade two, which is um, kind of like the concealer color that I put on my eyes previously. But now I use the P. Louise and the Mumma Mumma Mitchell collaboration for the Acid Rain, and I use the blank canvas. So what's really good about the paints is that they're slightly thicker consistency than the rumor bases that P. Louise has, and they also don't need to be tapped out like we did previously. So they are really, really good for cutting the crease. Um, they also do these in different colors, and I'm yet to, I've recently bought two more colors, so I'm yet to try a new P. Louise um kind of a whole update um but i'll be filming that when i do so stay tuned kids so i'm going to use the p louise concealer ba concealer brush as i did previously and i just wiped it clean of the rumor base that we use as well so i always put it onto a palette like i did previously and as you can see the consistency is much much thicker than the rumor base that i used so again just getting one side of the brush um wet with the with the paint like so i'm then going to cut my crease so to cut my crease 
you can either do it two ways so you can get a bit of the paint and pop it on this bit of your lid and look up and it will tell you just there where you want to put it that depends if you want to do it like that or if you have it in a slightly different way it could be too low or too high it's up to you completely um, or another way you can do it is to start off in the inner corner which is the way that I do start off in your inner corner and just slowly build your way up in, into where your crease is so it's completely up to you what works for you so I'm going to cut my crease with the acid rain paint and I'm going to start off in the inner corner of my left eye good good drive there and I'm just going to zoom you in a bit so you can see so I'm just taking this brush that's fully loaded up and I'm gonna hold up a mirror so it may look like I'm look, looking slightly off to do this. So I start in small motions, just getting the product on, and then try and stick to the line as much as I can. After I've done the line here, I then like to spread the product out. And just dragging it across. I always bring it to about three quarters of where my eye is because then I'll then, I will then start to bring the darker shade of when I angle it into it as well and start to mix it together. So, and there you go, the, the crease is cut. So, what I'm then going to do before I put on product, uh, put on the glitter on top of this, I'm going to go back into the carnival palette and do the shade intuition so for this i'm going to get a small fluffy brush like this and this is a morphe 507 and i'm going to go in with that intuition shade which is the dark the darkest brown that we're going to use and i just start to bring it in with a corner start and I always bring it out like a line, like I'm doing a liner. If I start to put it on there, it will start to come out. Like that. And then I'm going to take a shader brush that has got some of the slow burn onto it and just blend it in circular motions. I'm going to take a short stumpy shader brush like that and I'm going to put it into slightly into the intuition shadow and I'm just going to start to introduce and mix it with the acid rain paint so you start to blend it all together and it become more seamless And then going to go back in with the brush that we applied the intuition product in and I'm just going to take a bit of haul to warm it up a bit and I'm just placing it on the same area that I did like so and then go back in with the shader brush with the brush that's got the slow burn onto it and just making sure that they really go together I'm going to go back with this brush and just slowly blend more of the product into each other. Like so. Um, the glitter topper that I'm going to put on top of the cut crease here is the Peaches and Cream in the shade Cactus. Peaches and Cream are really good for, for toppers and I always do use them and they have a very good colour range and they're very very good especially with the P. Louise base. So I'm going to take a small brush like this, I'm just going to dab it into the pigment and load it up like that. And it's just pressing it into where you've put the, the where you've cut your crease. So having just applied the brown eyeliner into my waterline, I'm going to go back into the Be Perfect um, Carnival palette and I'm going to take the shade Haul and I'm going to put it on a small brush like this and I'm going to drag it underneath my eyes. I'm just going to bring you in a bit closer. 
So with the shade Hall, which is the dark, darker color that I've used on a small brush, I'm gonna get really close to my waterline here and connect the wings at the end. Do the same for the other eye, like so. I'm then going to take a fluffy brush and get the shade Slow Burn, which is the lighter shade that we used, and just dust it off underneath where we got, just to give it that bit of a pop, like so. Looks a bit messy now, but we can tidy it up. Then going in with a clean fluffy brush, just making sure that it's not too heavy and brushing it out like so. So now it's time for lashes. So I've really applied glue to my lashes and I use the duo glue and then it's the latex free version. Um, I, to start to prep my eyes for lashes, I like to go in with a bit of mascara and I've really curled my eyelashes as well and just give them a light coating just so they can blend into the false ones a bit nicer. Like so. And once they're ready to dry, I will pop them back on, two ticks. So I've just popped on one lash, then this lash is ready to go. And just, when I do it, I close my eyes. I put it on lightly. I'm just gonna grab my mirror. I put it on lightly in the rough area where I want them to be and then just pull them in place. You can either use um, tweezers for these, but where I've got long nails, I'm able to use these, it's a perk. And just make sure that they're on the lash line, like so. I'm then going to do the mascara on the bottom lashes. Again, just gonna pull up my mirror. So now it's time for lipstick. The lipstick that I swear by is the Collection Lip Liner, which I used in a previous video, and it's in the shade Espresso. I'm just going to bring you in. So I start, I start off just going around the outline of my lips and just making a small cupid's bow because my lips are quite rounded. and making sure they're even. And then going along the bottom of my lips. Like so. I then do a cross at the tops of my lips. A line there and here. And then I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss, this one here. And this is in the shade Fenty Glow. And I'm just gonna swoop it across. So that is today's look completed. I hope you like it. And if you wanna give me any suggestions or any colors that you want to see, then please do let me know in the comments below or follow me on Instagram and give me a DM. Thank you guys for coming to today's video. It's been a pleasure. Bye.